HSCRP stands for high sensitivity C-reactive protein, and it's a protein made by the liver. And it's a very sensitive marker of inflammation. And the inflammation can really be occurring anywhere in the body, and it can cause the HSCRP to go up. So this can be high in conditions such as infection, if you're acutely ill with something, uh, chronic autoimmune conditions such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis can raise your high sensitivity CRP. And most recently, we've also discovered that chronic inflammation can potentially play a role in heart disease and atherosclerosis. And so a high, high sensitivity CRP can potentially be a marker for increased cardiovascular risk. The American Heart Association recommends HSCRP screening, not for everyone, but for those individuals who have intermediate probability of having heart disease because it can help to reclassify your heart disease into a higher or lower risk category. So if you're somebody who has a 5 to 10 percent probability of having a heart attack or stroke within the next 10 years, then you're somebody who needs a high sensitivity CRP. High sensitivity CRP being elevated has not just been associated with an increased risk of heart disease, but also in those who already have heart disease has been associated with recurrent heart attacks as well. So high sensitivity CRP is very responsive to inflammation. So if you're ill with a cold, it's gonna go up and then as soon as your cold gets better, it's going to come down. Similarly, it is also responsive to other lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise. Lack of exercise and obesity have also been associated with increased levels of chronic inflammation and higher high sensitivity CRP. But essentially, if you get an abnormal high sensitivity CRP, it's usually prudent to repeat the, the measurement four to six weeks later, just to make sure that it wasn't something reversible that caused an increase in your high sensitivity CRP. There are also medications that have been associated with, with reducing CRP, such as statin medications. Now, this class of medications has normally been used to control cholesterol, but these pleiotropic or off-target effects that statins have shows us that in addition to controlling cholesterol, they can also reduce markers of inflammation, such as high-sensitivity CRP.